everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i will teach you the second chapter uh, not the second the the other chapter from the uh, previous one so the my chapter name of today is uh, do does so i think you all know about the do does so let's just start here uh, so uh, today i have written nothing so i will explain you in my own words today I had uh, not written anything earlier because I thought let's just teach our students today in a very new manner. In a, it's not new manner for you and I, I know because you have already teach like this in your school, in your tuitions as well as uh, whenever you have, you are studying and whenever you have studied, you have already taught your by your teachers like this. So let me just start my today's chapter. That is. Do does. Guys, uh, do you all know uh, what is the Hindi meaning of do? It's the Hindi meaning of do is karna, karte. This is the Hindi meaning of do. So, and now my question is where do we use do and does? So, first of all, let me just tell you do. Do we used for plural things? Plural things means plural subjects. And now what are the plural subjects? Plural subjects are the subjects for example I, we, you, they and these are the some examples, examples of plural subjects. So we generally used do with the plural subjects for example do I know you? क्या मैं तुमको जानता हूँ या जानती हूँ? Do we know her sister? क्या हम उसकी बहन को जानते हैं? For example, as it is, we can make the sentences with you and they as well. So it depends on you whether if you will try to make sentence more on like that, then you would get to know the better use of do. So now let's just move on does. So what is the use of does? Now we use does for singular subjects. Now my question is what are the singular subjects? Singular subjects are he, she, it, he, she, it. Uh, I think these are all the uh, what can else? You can tell me whatever the singular subjects can be more. So uh, in my uh, in my in my mind. I'm guessing now only three, so I have written only three here. He, she, it. So uh, we can make the sentences for does as well. He, no. For example, I have written, does he know me? Kya vah mujko janta hai? Does she sings? Not sings here. Only sing because have we have already. Uh, arranged here, written here, ES. Does she sing very well? Kya bhai bhai bohat achha gaati hai? And I have already tell you about these things, the plural things and the singular subjects. So now I have a question, what are these things? I mean from which sentences they belong? Uh, for example, we also belong to some uh, some family like I am belong from Hindu family and I am belong from Hin uh, India as well. It's my nation, so they also belongs from a family of them. So they belongs to the family of tenses, which are present indefinite tense. As you all know, uh, let me just uh, erase all these things first, then I will tell you more. Do does so they basically used uh, in the present. Indefinite tense. Uh, we uh, do you know that we have only twelve tenses? And basically, we have these are the subparts. Subparts of main three uh, main three tenses. And now, what are those three tenses? Present. 
past and future and we have some we have sub parts like present indefinite is like this past indefinite future indefinite now continuous present continuous past continuous past sorry uh, future continuous now perfect present perfect tense past perfect and future perfect now perfect continuous the combination of second and third past perfect continuous future perfect continuous so i uh, you all will know about them as uh, your you will come in your classes as well so it was all about do does and it will if you will remind all these things in your mind it will help you to improve your conversations like i am talking to you i have also used these words like do does so they will also help you increase your conversation skills as well and it will make you a great english speaker so thank you so much for watching my video i hope you like this video thank you so much